is sponsored by the Shadow Government. Recording live from the THS Newsroom in Oxford, Ohio, this is THS Daily News. Today is Thursday, February 15th. I'm Giuliano. And I'm Evan. Here's what's happening around THS. Let's start with clubs first today. First, Robotic Club will be meeting from 3 to 4 p.m. in room 412. Next, Mock Trial will be meeting from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. in room 315. But there is no Tribune this week. As, the, as for club events, Mock Trial, including me, will be at regionals all day tomorrow. Good luck, Mock Trial, and famous Yale graduate Daniel Messner. Also, the new chess club has been having a big turnout with 10 new members. It's more than two. If you are interested in some friendly chess competition, please join them. They meet every Wednesday in room 603 until 345. Now, for some more information about FCCLA. Thursday is FCCLA Spirit Day, and they appreciate everyone who wore their red and white today. Today in class, FCCLA students are having a speaker about distracted driving, one of our national programs, families acting on community traffic safety, FACTS. Next week, they will be sponsoring a school-wide contest for best PSA or poster to help promote the dangers of distracted driving, and there will be prizes. Setting Stone Coffee House tickets are now going on sale for $3 in advance and $5 at the door. Sounds like a steal of a deal to me. Another fun thing that is happening around our school is class officers organizing Friday Fun Fit Days. On Friday, February 23rd, our theme will be Mardi Gras Gold, Green and Purple. Following, follow the weekly theme and you just might win random prizes simply for dressing the part and being seen by teachers. Next week is FFA week. To celebrate, FFA is putting on theme days each day next week. That's right. It all starts on Tuesday when we get back from the long weekend with a holiday Tuesday. Indeed. Wear your best holiday sweater or maybe a Halloween themed shirt. It's holiday Tuesday, so celebrate FFA by celebrating your favorite holiday. Warning, dangerous levels of swag incoming. We've got a special story from News Goblins Messner and, Juli and Giuliano Fioretti about some advice for our juniors taking the ACT. Listen, dude, there's no way that we have to do this. I mean, we have a choice here, right? We're gonna show you how to get a 36 on the ACT. Yeah, don't really, the first time, definitely don't really worry about it that much. You can always retake it. You can, you can take it up to 20 times, so it's not a big deal, at, but it costs a little bit of money. But it, don't trust what the ACT actually provides you with, like, test questions, because they are trying to fool you. So use the Black Book ACT. Uh, yeah. You say that you want to make sure you get lots of sleep the night before the ACT. Um, you want to be feeling fresh and ready to go that morning. I would not stay up all night cramming. Uh, what you don't know that night, you're probably not going to learn that night. So it'd be better to get some sleep than uh, be tired and fall asleep during the test. Did you take the ACT? Yep. Do you have any advice for the juniors taking uh, the ACT? Study. You will be a god among men. Eat the paper when you get it. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Was it uh, all those? Let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you for that information. That's all we have news for today. So let's, over, let's head over to Dom with Sports. Wrestling has its SWAC tournament tomorrow afternoon at Harrison. The swim and dive team has district competition this weekend at the Miami Rec. And that's it for sports. Good luck to all the athletes. We don't have any content today, so we are all, we're going to head back over to Evan and Giuliano to sign off for the weekend. Well, that's it for news today. I'm Evan. And I'm Giuliano. Have a good weekend.
ground beef. <laughs> Hello, Little Caesars. I'd love five orders of normal bread, please. <laughs> Get it because it's about the ground. Yeah. <laughs>